So faith, I think, is easy to practice on Sunday because we're, we're gathered in church, we're hunkered down in a pew with a couple of our friends or maybe our family, or maybe we go out to Calvary at the lake and we hear the band play and we have a good solid message and faith feels like it's on fire in those moments. But let's be honest, when it comes to Mondays, our faith can kind of kind of seem to go out the window. It can just kind of get drowned out by all the other voices in the world, like expectations from our work and from school, expectations of our kids and our partners and our families. We get back to the Monday morning daily grind and the busyness, it just never seems to end. So this week on The Daily Dose, we're asking about what it is like that we can have a faith that we learn on Sunday, that we practice on Monday. How can we live a weekday faith? And so for today, we're asking the question, how do I share my faith with my friends? Well, there's this moment, and I'll be honest, this is a moment that happens for every pastor that I have ever talked about, where we have to make the decision as a pastor whether or not we tell someone that we are a pastor. Like, here's an example. You're at the on a plane, or maybe I'm at the gym, or I'm at one of my husband's work parties, and I hit it off with someone. And we're having this great conversation, and it just seems to flow, and I really like them, and I kind of want them to be my friend. And then the question comes up, well, what do you do? And then, as a pastor, I'm stuck thinking, okay, all right, do I one, tell them what I do. So one, if I tell them I'm a pastor, sometimes it just totally shuts down the conversation completely. Or two, if I, if I tell them I'm a pastor, then somehow I then become their pastor in that moment. And they start telling me all kinds of things that you wouldn't even imagine. These, all these things. And then I start pastoring them in that moment and they start confessing. Or three, you know, the conversation just ends and they go, oh, you're a pastor and then, and then that's it. It like is this weird, awkward silence. So how do you share your faith with your friends? Well, I guess if they're friends that you found at church, you know, it's those kind of conversations, they seem to be easy because you already have this common ground space in order to talk about faith. But what if you don't know where your friends are at when it comes to faith? How do we have faith conversations without seeming sort of like some kind of religious nut or some kind of faith pusher? How do we have these conversations in our lives? And I think the answer to all of this, how do we have these faith conversations with our friends without looking like your religious nut? I think we find this answer in scripture. In 1 Corinthians, it says, if I speak in tongues of men or angels, but I do not have love, then I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have a faith that can move mountains, but I don't have love, then I have nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor or give my body over to hardship, but I don't have love, then I gain nothing. So how do we have these faith conversations with our friends? How do we open ourselves up to that? I think it starts with love to love your friend wherever they are at in their life, wherever they are at in their faith life, no matter what they are going through, whether they believe in God fully, wholly, and passionately, or if they are the world's most devout atheist. To share faith with our friends means that before anything at all else, we love them. I have a girlfriend that I've had since high school. We've been friends since 1993. And she grew up completely outside of the church. Her parents didn't believe in God. Not only did they not believe in God, they really didn't like people that believed in God. They were against faith, not just without faith. And occasionally in high school, she'd rebel and she would come to the youth group that I went to. She would push against her parents and say she was gonna go to youth group at church. And when we were in high school, she would ask some hard questions about faith because this was such a strange thing for her. Now that we are in our 40s, she works as a lawyer, so asking tough questions is right up her alley. And there were questions when we were in high school that I just couldn't answer, that I had no idea how to answer. And when we were in college, her mom, her mom was diagnosed with lung cancer and she died really soon after that. And then my friend, she started asking more questions. She has to start asking more questions about why I believed in God. And at one point I sent her a Bible and she read some of it. And now we've been friends for over 25 years and she doesn't go to church and she doesn't talk much about faith. But now when we talk, she'll say something like, you know, I've been praying about this. I can't 
can't believe that she'd be praying about this. I mean, when we were 16 years old, there's no way that I could have ever imagined her doing that. You see, all these years, God was doing God's work. And the only reason we are still able to have a faith conversation is because I love her. I love her so much. Friends, faith does not grow with coercion, but it thrives, thrives, and grows with love. With sharing how, with your friends, how your life has been transformed and changed by what God has done with you. Not with the goal of trying to convince them to believe, but allowing God to do God's work by sending in the Holy Spirit. Letting the Holy Spirit do the Holy Spirit's work. When you love your friend above any goal of trying to get them to believe the same things as you or without any goal of trying to engage in a faith conversation, it's then through your love that they get to see God's work in you. It's about what God does instead about what you do. So this week, I wanna encourage you to share some love, to share some love with your friends and the people in your life. And maybe it's very simple. Maybe it's something like this, when you say, you know, I don't know where you're at in your faith life and I totally respect that. But I'm wondering if there is a way that I can pray for you this week. Or maybe it's a simple, hey, do you wanna join me for church this Sunday? It's got some really great music. Or maybe it's just sharing a daily dose that you found meaningful. Thank you so much for joining us today here on The Daily Dose. Be sure to join us tomorrow and this whole week as we're talking about what it means to have a weekday faith. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, I wanna invite you to share and subscribe. And if you're joining us on Cable Access, I'm so honored that you're here. Maybe invite one of your friends. Good night.